Hello everyone, Wolfie here, coming at you with another one. Now, in this one, we're going to be going over how to enable 2FA on Fortnite. So, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. How to enable 2FA on Fortnite. And if you're wondering what 2FA stands for, 2FA stands for Two-Factor Authentication. So, let's jump right on into it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head on over to www.epicgames.com so let me go ahead and get that up and then i'll show you what we're going to do next so here we are and we're on epicgames.com and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the right and we're going to click on sign in and then once we click on sign in it'll ask you do you already play fortnite and the answer is probably yes if you're checking out this video here. So we're going to select yes, and then when we select yes, what do you play Fortnite on is what you'll be asked. So go ahead now and pick whichever one it is that you play Fortnite on. And when you do that, you'll have a little window pop up for you to log in. Like for instance here, I picked PlayStation, and now you can see I have a little window up here which is asking me for my sign-in info for PlayStation. And it's the same for Xbox. I have another window here, which uh, Xbox Live window. For the Switch, we have a Nintendo, and so forth for all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and log in, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so we're back now. And if you look in the upper right, you'll see that I am now logged in, and you should be too. So now that we're logged in, what we want to do next is we want to hover over that and we're going to select account. So let's click on account and once you click on account you'll be brought to this page right here which has your personal details. Now what we're going to do, you're going to look on the left side of the screen where you have a few options there and the one we're going to want to select is password and security. So we're going to click on password and security and then you'll see at the top here it should say change your password. Now you're not going to do that though. What you want to do here is you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and you'll see 2FA right over here, right under the change your password. So now you have two options as to how you can do your 2FA. There is the authenticator app and then there's the email authentication. So the Authenticator app, basically if you want to be able to do it from, let's say you have a mobile device, an iPad, a smartphone, then I'd recommend using the Authenticator app. That way it's a bit quicker so that you don't have to go into your email each time. But the way I'm going to do it now is I'm actually going to do email authentication. And just in case you need some ideas for the Authenticator app, here are some that are actually listed by Epic Games themselves. So if we scroll down on this page, there are a few authenticators which you can use. Some of the ones they suggest are the Google Authenticator, then there's LastPass Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, and then there's Authy. So let's go ahead and go back to that other page, and I'm going to use Email Authentication. So I'm going to click on this, and it'll have a pop-up like this once I do that, and it'll say Enter Security Code. Now what I've got to do is I have to check my email for the code, which I'm going to need to put into this box right here. Now note, sometimes it can take a little while for the email to make its way to you. So be sure to give it a little bit of time for it to arrive. So here we are now in my inbox, and I just got the email not too long ago, and it says your two-factor sign-in code. And down here we have this huge number. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to put it into the box on the Epic Games website where it asks for the security code. So I'm going to put it into there. And then I'm going to hit continue. And once I hit continue, it'll say email authentication enabled. And there you go. You just enabled 2FA. Now, if this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it so much if you could leave a like and subscribe. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you next time. Bye.